Hello friends, this is Clint from C Performance Crate Engines. It is an absolute pleasure to introduce this, this, this video for you. And in the irony that I mi ended up missing all of the filming, all the, vi the video work. I, I'm very proud that Stephen captured, captured video and some commentary on this beautiful, beautiful 347 small block Ford build. There's a, we have a, the previous video I'll po post a link in the description, of course, but uh, the previous video with uh, about the small block Ford, and um, and I missed. I yes, I did miss out on the the dyno as well, which you'll see uh, in brief in the, the latter portion of this video. We want to give a shout out to everybody who's subscribed, everybody who's checked out our content, all those that have posted comments, asked questions, those that, that have inquired personally. Thank you so much for your support. Many, many countries, it, it looks from our analytics, have um, have been checking out our content. So we, we, we can say thank you very much. So from us at Sea Performance Crate Engines, to you, Merry Christmas to you and your families. Thank you. And the stock rod length is 5.090. And our rod length in this build is 5.4 inch. So it's been stroker clearanced. We've added a girdle for the mains to strengthen up the bottom end. And we have an oil pump from Melling, an ARP oil pump drive rod, and studs holding the mains down. So these are AFRs number 1388. They're a 185cc intake runner. And we got the intake manifold gaskets from AFR as well. They fit the ports very nicely. And we're gonna set the manifold on and mark it everywhere that we can so we can transfer that pattern directly to the intake manifold and then port match the manifold to match. So getting this right is important. I take a bit of time to lay the gasket in place Put a little mark on the corners where we want it to live. And then I just tape it onto the corner of the heads. And what I'm going to do is lay the manifold in place and then remove that tape and then tape it up to the intake. So we can remove the intake with the manifold gasket stuck to the intake manifold. And then basically I've got a mirror image of where that port should be. Very simple, takes a little bit of time, but uh, just being careful to get it correct makes all the difference. So a manifold centered over the bolt holes. Now we've just kind of moved the tape up from the heads onto the intake manifold. Now we'll lift the intake manifold up, lay it on its face, and uh, transfer with a Sharpie the impression. So here it is all finished. Port matched cleaned and ready to go on. So we are using these performance ruled rocker arms that are 7 16 stud and 1.6 rocker ratio. Always a good practice to pre-lube simply by soaking them in oil. So we're using driven racing oil for breaking this engine in and there's a bit of it there and a good old coffee can. So we'll let that soak for a while before we set it in the engine and set the valves. So we just got the heads torqued on. We used ARP head bolts, torqued to 70 foot-pounds with the ARP lube under the head and all over the, the threads. We also upgraded the rocker studs to 7 16 And just finished setting up the guide plates so that the rockers are centered perfectly over the tip, tip of the valve and over the push rod. We have found over many builds using these AFR heads with a factory hydraulic roller, factory style lifters, and this type of rocker arm that on this particular setup, we end up using push rods that are 6.3 inches long. 
We have done others with a different rocker arm that end up being 6.4 inches long. But this setup here, that's exactly where we are. 6.3 and geometry is spot on. And there it is with the valve at full lift. So here we are, the intake manifold's on and torqued. And the valves are all adjusted. We set them down three quarters of a turn after lash. Next we will prime the oil pump, get all the good juices through the whole engine, set the valve covers on, drop the distributor in it, and it'll be ready to go into the dyno. Okay, so I just finished putting oil in it and priming the oil pump. And then you can see we've got oil in the top of the heads now because it's coming up the push rods, filling up the rocker arms. And uh, here, I'll just show you what that looks like when it's priming. Hey guys, this is Steven from CE Performance. We are here at Richmond Engines today to run up the 347 that we've been building. My best friend and filmmaker Clint Burton is away today. I would kind of say he's missing an action, but actually I guess he's missing the action. So in a few minutes we're going to be running up the 347, see what kind of power she makes. <laughs> 